Today, my dear viewers, we are rebuilding a team in Belgium. The worst team. This squad right here was absolutely horrible. And their name is Beershot. Or, as you could call it, Beersh... You know what I mean. So looking through the league table, you'll be able to tell that they are in the 18th position at the end of the season with only 16 points after 34 games, which is genuinely abysmal. But we're not just going to rebuild this team. We're going to do it in a very specific way. The way this is going to work is we will go ahead and only be allowed to buy players from the worst teams in the respective leagues. So let's say I choose Spain. I can go down the league table and see Deportivo Alaves is the last place team. That is the team that I can buy players from within Spain. I'm not allowed to go ahead and bring in players from any team that is above Deportivo Alaves. This will make this rebuild quite tough and possibly the toughest I've ever done. As I said to you before on the latest rebuild, the youngsters from the Youth Academy are not allowed to be as high rated as the highest rated player in the teams I go into. We want to kind of make it fair and we said they're going to be three ratings below so right now benjamin robert is 73 rated but as we go into this right here you'll see holzhauser is the 72 rated player the highest rated player in our team so that means he's allowed to be 69 rated so there we go the youth academy talent if we take a look at him right now for beer shot is going to be 69 rated <laughs> yeah boy we have dropped down his rating he comes into our team and he is going to be an important part of what we try and build over here now obviously since we are the worst team in belgium already we're not going to be able to sign any players from belgium actually you know what maybe no 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 players from belgium i was thinking maybe I'll, I'll buy players from the second worst team but i want to keep it uh, according to the title now the team itself here that we have with beer shots it did really bad like really 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 bad and i see this name lemos he was once like a huge talent on fifa as a center back i don't know what the hell happened to him but uh yeah sad to see and when we look at the team in terms of talents you can see that we have Robert, obviously the number one. And we do have Okiere here, who's only 56 rated. That's not going to be good enough. Konstantopoulos could be good. And then, yeah, Koulibaly, maybe? When he comes back from his loan, that could not be too bad. I mean, he's loaned in or loan loaned in? Oh, well, that is not good. Uh, Sumare, though, could come back. But yeah, generally speaking, you can see that there are some youngsters here that we can definitely make use of. And I'll try and build them up as much as I can, because obviously we don't have that much of a huge pool of players to tap into. But I am excited to try this idea. By the way, let me know in the comments down below, guys. What was like the craziest career mode idea that you have followed through on your PlayStation or PC or Xbox, wherever you play your career modes? Let me know in the comments down below. What was your cra craziest idea? Maybe I'll go ahead and follow one of those ideas to make a video about it. For security reasons and not being terrible, we have swapped over to the 4-2-3-1 for this team now. I want to try this one out. Also, Robert is going to play right mid, Vaka is going to play left mid. And the good thing is a lot of these players are actually kind of young. I hate the fact that Koulibaly is not our own. He's going to leave us and I'm not allowed to sign him anyways. But this is the setup that we have for, for this season. And honestly, lads, it's not that terrible. Like after letting go of a bunch of the old players right now, I know the ratings are not too good, but I am fully confident that we can pull off some wonders here. And for those wonders, I need money. I need money. So you can tell right here we have sold a bunch of the players and now we have 14.35 million. Time to bring in the transfers from the worst teams from all around the world. I told you it was time for transfers and we have gone in into Austria. Now, throughout the regular season, Admira wasn't actually terrible. But then in the regulation playoffs, they came last. And I believe that means they went down the league. So Admira is the team that I bought Babuscu from. Onurhan Babuscu, I believe he's fr from Turkish descent. He's Austrian. Comes into our team into the center attacking midfield position. Then from Deportivo Alaves, as you've seen in the intro, the worst Spanish team or the worst 
team in La Liga. We have Lopez coming in into that left back spot because Desmet, our current left back, is only loaned in. And then from Italy, we have brought in the biggest transfer for sure. Busio, Gianluca Busio, is coming into our team. The American takes over the center midfield spot in our squad, which I'm very, very happy about. So those are three players already in. Abustru, Busio, and Lopez. And now I have how much money left? I have around 5.5 million still left. That's not too bad. I can still make some deals happen. So now one more deal is coming into the team and it didn't cost me much. It was a swap deal plus 400K. And it is for a player that plays for the worst team in the championship. In the championship, Barnsley was the worst team in this previous season and Gomez is one of their players. And as I look at his stats, I can tell this kid has some amazing all-around all stats. He's 21 years old. He's going to be playing alongside Busio in that midfield now. And I do think this is the right move. Now, ideally, I want to bring in a goalkeeper, but this guy's only 23. So he could actually work his way up in terms of his rating and be a beast. But I don't know. If I can find a better option, I will go after it. But as things stand, after that uh, purchase, we still have over 5 million. So if I can find a goalkeeper that plays for one of the worst teams, this would be like finding a gold mine. I've just gone ahead and signed two players from the worst team in Ligue 1. Bordeaux, thank you so much for going down in this case. I appreciate you guys because you are helping me to strengthen this team more than I thought I could. We have brought in a new striker in the name of Sekumara, 19 years old, six foot tall. I bought their goalkeeper, Bordeaux's goalkeeper. You'll see it in a second. And then I saw, oh wait, this kid looks insane. Let's go ahead and get him into the team as well. So all of our budget now is officially spent. I guess if we, if we adjust the budget a little bit more to represent it, uh, the wages and stuff. Now we have 1.6 million with 21K in the wage budget. But Mara comes in. He will be at first a backup, but I highly anticipate that he will surpass Nobisi soon enough. And then for the goalkeeping position, I brought in Poussin. Poussin is a goalkeeper that is 67 rated, 22 years old, a big upgrade upon the goalkeeper that we just had, and that should make this team so much stronger. Now, I feel extremely confident about this season. I'm done with the transfers for now, but I do think I've made a very good team right here. I I'm kind of proud of these transfers because it does take some research on these ones. No one likes a smart ass. One last signing has just been made. It is a player from Greuther Fürth, the last place team in the Bundesliga, the top Bundesliga, not the second one. He comes into our team now, clearly a player that struggles with the pace of the game, but has decent defending and physicality on him. So he comes in to play alongside Radic. It is a minus one downgrade over Van der Berg, who we had, but I believe he was 28 years old or something like that. So I wanted to bring in someone for the future as soon as I can. So Bala is definitely the one to take over now. Shankland, though, I did sell the striker that we had. Yes, that man has left the club. He has gone for like 2.4 million, which made this transfer possible. But Shankland is taking away playtime for Mara and it is doing my head in. I'm so close to releasing him out of the team because I've tried to sell him on. No one wants to buy the guy. But if I can sell him, I will. Oh man, my wife is cooking up some burgers right now. Homemade. Oh, it smells so good. I just want to go out there and eat. But I have to sit here at 35 degrees and record a video. So you better hit that like button. <laughs> Guys, we are here now at the end of this season. And you can tell that Beer Shot is not at the bottom of the league, which I am happy with. So 12th position with 41 points as things stand. And of course, in the playoffs, you can see Club Bruges have gone ahead and gotten themselves the first position secured for the rest of the season. And here you can see the playoff round. Uh, I think it's like first to fourth play against each other a couple of times. And then uh, the fifth to eighth position play against each other a couple of times as well to determine who gets European football. Um, as far as I remember from some of the things that I've learned about the Belgian league throughout the past season. But yeah, Club Rouge got first here. Congratulations to them. We are happy that we're not at the bottom of the league. And at the end of the season, we have a decent wage budget there. But looking at the team itself, Mara, 69. Babushu gone up to a 65. Vaja or Vaka is up to a 72. Robert, 73. Love that. Uh, Busio, nice growth. Gomez, 
I believe has gone up a little bit. Or did he come in at a 65? I think he came in at a 65. So 69, that's pretty good. Bauer with a plus one since joining in January. Plus three on Lopez. Radic doing well. One of the more talented players in this team for sure. Halaimia is coming in with a 69. Pusa up to a 70. And on the bench, you can now tell a lot of players doing somewhat all right. But a couple of them are going to leave as their loan runs out. So the game will have to put some randoms into our team because as soon as their loans run out, the squad size will be too small. So I'm kind of excited to see who we're going to get in at this stage. But yeah, I'm very happy with the signings we have made and I'm kind of okay with where we finished. Ideally, I do want to finish a lot higher than when we have end up here. 12th is not amazing. Let's be honest here. We are far away from where we need to be, but we are seeing progress. And the progress in terms of individual stats. Shanklin, can you just go? Can you just please go? You're ruining Mara, man. He has ruined Mara, hasn't he? I might have to get myself a new striker unless his potential hasn't been hurt that much. But Shanklin, even though he's lower rated, has been getting most of the playtime. It's pretty annoying, but hey, it is what it is. We move. As I bought a player from Goethefield last season, I saw this one and thought, oh, he would be sick to get into the team. But then we had Mara in the team. Now, Mara has left. I wanted him to be the big guy in the team, but sadly, him not playing over the Scottish lad that we had ruined him. His potential was crushed. It takes him like 50 weeks to grow, and that's just not okay. So we had to refresh the team. Jamie Leveling is coming into the team now. 21-year-old German from Goethefurt. He is 74 rated, and I fully expect him to take us to the next level. His stats are class already. I am aware that players like Babushchu and also Halaima, Halaimia and also Gomez don't look too great right here in amongst the 70 plus rated players but we sadly don't have any, any other choice and here it is hey they gave us a 63 rated uh cdm <laughs> let's go thank you very much ea anyone else no sumare just came back from loan i guess that's it i'm still happy though 63 rated cdm who well, doesn't look too bad 18 years old thanks ea i appreciate you but that leveling transfer is possibly the only one that we make this season. Season's coming to an end. It seems like we are playing for something. 1-1 draw, 4-0 loss, 2-0 win. Is there any more games coming up? No, we are done. We have been in, what is it? Playoff or championship? Championship round. Okay, so we finished second, which qualifies us for European football. What a big difference from last season. Last season coming in 12th, now coming into the second position. That is a huge amount of success for our team for sure. And in the regular season, we were second as well with just two points behind Club Bruges. That is very good to see. Now, leveling, look at that, 79 rated. Definitely much better than the striker that we swapped him out for. Babush job to a 71. Obviously doesn't look amazing, but I'm happy that he has gotten past the 70. And as we can clearly tell, it's good enough for the Belgian league at the moment. So might as well give the kid his run. Vaka is up to an 77. Robert up to an 80. Busio 80. Gomez has done well again. I believe another plus five right there for him. Lopez, great growth. Bauer, Radic, Halaimia, and also even the goalkeeper is doing well here. Now, I will have to give you a little bit of a heads up. Someone has paid the release clause of Bauer. That really sucks uh, because he did have a great season right here. So we will have to get rid of him in the next season and find a replacement as soon as possible. Leveling 22 and 3. Vaca with the 17 and 5. Robert with a 10 and 6. Busio from center midfield with the 7 and 4. And even our CDM has done bits in the attack as well. Guys. Really, this was a class season and I can't wait to take this team to Europe and get absolutely smacked up by everyone. But one good thing is the money coming in. So hopefully we can bring some really good players in. Maybe like pick up players from the worst team in the Prem, some of the highest divisions. That's the goal. For this new season, I looked towards the Prem. I wanted to bring in a player from Norwich City who finished in the last position in the Premier League and Max Ahrens is the perfect player for our team contract was running out my right back that i have right now i didn't really necessarily like i wanted to upgrade upon him he was 26 years old already and not looking too good in terms of his rating anyways but max Ahrens, a big talent that was touted to move to some big teams even Bayern munich was interested in him at some point but the deal never came through but he's coming into our team now beer shot has picked up an amazing right back for the future 
I'm very excited to put that man straight into the starting lineup. He is now the highest rated player in our defense and hopefully can lead the line in a really, really good way. Now, in terms of captaincy, who should I give it to? I guess we'll leave it on Radic, right? He is an original of the squad and he's doing well. Only 23 years old, Croatian centre-back talent. So I guess we'll keep it in his hands. And also, somehow, Bala has not gone. I had a message that said, release calls met. But maybe straight after I extended his contract and that thing went away without me realizing. But hey, at least I know now Bala is still here. And we have no more budget to spend. Arons is going to be the only one I can buy this season. I need to do well in Europe now to get some more cash. No Europa League. It was actually the Conference League that we took part in by the end of the season. Actually, let me go all the way back and see. Was it Conference League all the way? Yes, it seems like it actually was. So that is what we qualified for. And this season, we got to the semifinals and lost against Real Sociedad, which is obviously annoying. But take a look at this. We won the league title, 48 points. That is beer shot now at the top. We came in third in regular season, but then smacked it up in the championship round, which is obviously lovely to see. And talking about lovely to see, take a look at these ratings. Leveling, 84. Robert, 86. Vaca, 83 as well. Arens, 283. Busio, 84. Gomez has gone up nicely. Even Babushchu has gone up to um a 76 rating which is still nice i kind of want to keep this guy because i've never used him before and he's a no name that probably most people don't know so that excites me but uh, generally speaking guys we have done really really well here with the way this team looks at this moment we possibly will have to focus on the bench very soon uh even though in the belgian league it's not that tough really with that bench but when it comes to champions league football it could get rough now, looking at the, at the performances from the lads, hopefully leveling at the top. No, he isn't. It is actually our left midfielder from Bolivia. This guy is up to an 83, 29 and 9, leveling with the 27 and 9, and Robert with the 25 and 14. Busio, Aaron's getting involved. Ideally, I want to see a little bit more from Babushu. I'm currently working on his, um, on his shooting and passing. I really want him to get more involved in the game and hopefully next season is going to be the one. He's showing great potential at the moment, which possibly means that he goes up to at least an 84. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, Gomez has done well for himself here as well. So guys, this was a very good season. Our team could compete in even other leagues at this point for some higher positions. But right now in Belgium, we are the number one. And that should mean dynamic potential is currently on fire so i had to go in and buy a couple of players but we are already in january i didn't spend any money until now now it's time to bring in backups omo bamidele is coming in from norwich tesman is coming in from venezia and redan is coming in from the worst team in netherlands which was pex Zwolle. they finished last he is coming into our team as a backup striker the team remains the same way it is because you know I really like him. And honestly, I probably can't buy any player in any league where the worst team has a higher rated player than any of the ones that we already have. So it's time to strengthen up the bench. It is May 2025. We don't have a Champions League final or anything like that. When it comes to Champions League football, you can see we are nowhere. We were in the Champions League group stages, got smacked up by Shakhtar, Liverpool, PSV, it just didn't work out. So we didn't even get third place to qualify for Europa League, which clearly shows that we were not good enough yet. But take a look at the league table. Championship rounds. We are number one by a country mile. League table, 11 points ahead of Club Bruges. First place once again, qualifying for Champions League football. And that is not where it ends. Leveling 88, Robert 92, Vaca 87, Max Arendt coming in with the 87 as well. Busio up to an 88. Just generally, the entire team is looking very, very good right now. Age-wise, 25, is that the oldest we have right now? I would assume so, yeah. 25 seems to be the oldest we have at the, in, in the team. And uh, the backups seem to have done well. All of them have gone up in their rating since they joined in January. So nothing to complain about there. But now, slowly but steadily, I would like to see some performances in the European uh, Cups as well. Our team is clearly good enough. We have some of the best players in the world. And leveling has gotten 34 goal contributions. Vaca got himself 18 and 14. Robert with the 30 as well. 
and our center attacking midfielder has stepped up his game somewhat now with the eight and eight i will still trust in this kid he's only 20 no, 21 after all these seasons so Onurhan, you still have plenty of time to work on yourself pal this was his best season so far and i really hope that he can get to 84 85 in the next season but guys that was a banging season for sure looking forward to the next one and hopefully we can get further than just the group stages this time. Okay, so I had to start the recording again right here because we... <laughs> no way. Honestly, no way. Uh, I was out and came back now, hence the new outfit. But guys, what the hell just happened? We are in the Champions League final. We actually are. What the hell just happened? It's 2026. This is way too early. We have gone ahead and beaten Atletico Madrid. And at that stage, I was like, hold on. Let me stand up. Let me see if we actually can pull it off this season. So I hit the record button and look at that. Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Chelsea, all beaten on our way to the Champions League final. What? <laughs> what is this? So let's see who Man City played against until they came here they beat liverpool beat napoli and beat borussia dortmund i'll have to say i probably had a tougher uh upbringing here to the final but looking at the team i guess it's somewhat justified leveling 92 robert 95 vaca up to a 90 babushu up to an 85 90 pace great passing great dribbling five star five star he'll be fine he'll be fine he, he, it might be a little bit too early for him at this stage of his career, but we'll go for it. Busio with the 89, Gomez with the 87, Lopez 89, 88 on Bauer, 87 on Radic, 88 on Max Ahrens, and then 89 on our goalkeeper. The bench, I mean, it's all right. It's nothing great. I tried to bring in two wingers, but couldn't really find anyone that I kind of liked for this team. So, I just said, you know what? We're just going to rock it with the team that we have right now and see how things go. And you know what? It went pretty well, didn't it? <laughs> Let's take a look at the league table as well and see where Beer Shot ended up. Imagine not being first, though. We are first. We have gotten the title and we are in the Champions League final with performances of Leveling, Robert, Vaca, Babushchu. Ooh, 13 and 10. Let's go. Busio with the 12 and 9. Gomez with the 18-6 from CDM. Honestly, lads, pretty satisfied with this season. That is for sure. Max Aaron's coming in with the seven assists for himself in that right back position. I honestly can't wait to take on Manchester City right here. This has been such a successful rebuild, despite the circumstances and the restrictions that we have put on ourselves. Man City, show me what you got. I am prepared for a massive battle against them, but I am also prepared to see some of these players that came from the worst teams all around the globe. I even tried to look into other divisions as well, but some of them were sadly too low rated. So that's the reason why we have gone for some of the divisions we have gone for in this video, uh, mainly being European. Hopefully uh, sometime in the future, we can do an even lower rated team where we can take on some of the uh, worst teams players from actually like all around the globe. But for now, Beer Shot is here in the final. Oh, Orange Shoes. Let's go leveling. They look fire. I love it. He stands out big time. All right, let's... Here we go. This is it. This is it. Don't get scared now. Oh, great tackle by Gomez. Nice little interception from him. As we move forward with leveling. Leveling. Go on, mate. Get past them defenders. And now this. And then the... Ah, oh, man. I just... You know, sometimes you just want to go crazy in the Champions League final. Why not? Playing against Manchester City right now. It just came to my mind that apparently... They are wanting to sign Cucurella from Brighton. Oh, shoot. Good finish, man. That was close. Uh, what do you guys think about Cucurella? I really like him. Um, I think he was a former Barcelona Academy player, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe Guardiola knows him from that time. Apparently, Zinchenko is up for sale. And Arsenal might be interested because Kieran Tierney basically plays one week and then is injured for another five. So, um, yeah, that would be an interesting transfer too because Zinchenko is actually quality. Like, he's actually a good player who can also even play center midfield. So, um, yeah, 
I wonder what's going to happen there. Do you guys like that idea? That transfer? Let me know in the comments down below. Lovely little header into Gomez. Osho over across to the wing. Robert. That's our highest rated player. Now, he has an option at the far side. It's a volley and it's a quality volley. Mate, how did he take that on? Incredible from Vaca, the left midfielder who I believe has been here since season one, right? I didn't transfer him into the team. I believe he was an original of this squad. Let's take a look at that moment once again. Our highest rated player crosses it in and the volley is special, mate. That's a quality volley coming in from the number 11. Well done, Ramiro Vaca or Vaza. Well done, mate. Three goals in 13 matches. That's not that great, but hey, we'll take it. He scores in the Champions League final. Well, that's a good ball to Raheem Sterling. Oh, Sterling. We got to talk about that as well. How can I not, like, how can I forget about this? Apparently, Chelsea is very interested in Raheem Sterling. I think Sterling is still a quality player. I really, really do. So if Chelsea manages to get him, he could do really well over there, man. I wouldn't be surprised. Go on, Babushu. Great pass. Leveling. Ederson doesn't even try. 31 minutes in. We are smacking Manchester City across the heads. Wow. Wow. What the hell is happening here? Beer shot going from worst team in Belgium to possibly the best team in Europe. And you know what? The 85 rated center attacking midfielder has his goal contribution. Hey, what else do you want? No. Ah, oh, Phil Foden. We got it. We got it. Down to the left. Oh, that's not a good pass. Straight before half time. City could get a big chance in here. That was a great move by Gravenberg. I got to say that. Hopefully he plays like that for Bayern Munich. Go on then. Solid tackle. We finish off the first half. 2-0 up. Not too shabby. Oh, that's a pass and a half. My God. What the hell was that? Phil Foden. Phil Foden on it. Yes, Max Ahrens comes out to help us here. And here we go again. Robert down the wing. The space is open now for leveling. Leveling at the far side. He has his teammate Vaka going for it. It's a good try, but even better clearance from the defenders there. Well done as we find him again. He now has the ball in this control. We get it across into the center. Leveling. Bang! Robert, left foot, it still goes in. How does, wait, Ener Ederson, are you okay today? Guys, I don't know what the hell is going on with Manchester City's goalkeeper, but normally Ederson tends to be a lot tougher to get past. The one goalkeeper that you all know I struggle against the most is clearly Oblak. But this one right here, straight away on his left foot, he hits it. It's a good shot, don't get me wrong. But Ederson, when you get your hands onto it, isn't that like a thing that goalkeepers say? When you get your hands onto it, that means you could have saved it type thing. Because it's not that much of a difference, you know. But in the end, uh, that really makes a difference if it's a goal or not. So, I don't know. Ederson, really letting Manchester City down today. Oh, Busio just shrugging off whoever that was. Vaca making a great run. Ederson, you're going to be left by yourself here, mate. Leveling. <laughs> Honestly, lads, I did not think this would happen. First of all, I didn't think we would make it into the Champions League final. And then smacking them around like this. This is this is hilarious. I'm just going to enjoy my watermelon right here because this game is over. Mm. Well, lads, this was genuinely incredible. But we have smacked Man City in a way I wouldn't have expected. This was, once again, ultimate difficulty. Uh, sliders have been changed so that the AI plays even better than they normally do on regular ultimate difficulty. Dynamic difficulty is on, or whatever it was called, the player base difficulty or whatever. Everything is on the hardest level it can be, but be a shot made it look like I was playing on amateur. And that is just a sign of this team actually being top, top quality. Well done to these lads. And here we go. Let's go. The original. The center back lifts the trophy. The other original gets us a goal in the game. Guys, this was a joy to record as always. I had a blast on this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this kind of twist to the rebuild makes it even more enjoyable for you guys to watch. And, you know, at the end of the day, 
We lift that beautiful trophy again, and we built an incredible team. Thank you so much for watching every single one of these. It genuinely is so much fun for me to record these. Have a great day, guys. Take care. I'm peace.